What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and we're gonna be doing what I said in the title of the video. We're gonna be making Funko Pop glasses. I, I was inspired by one of my fellow, my peers, my fellow YouTubers, um, one, one of my favorite YouTubers. I actually wanna shout him out in this video. Uh, it's The channel is Maker Maddox, and it's uh, Billy, Billy Maddox from Maker Maddox. Um, oh, I just hit that. Here's the idea. Um, you recently started making a uh, Funko Pop that's gonna be yeah, you, I, I'm assuming. Um, and I was like, this is an excellent idea. Why don't I do this? I said to myself, self, why, why don't you do this too? <laughs> That's a good idea, dude. You should, we, should, we, should, we should have them do this. I don't know why my inner monologue um, has two different um, accents when they talk to each other, but definitely go check out his channel. Check out his, what did he call it? Um, re <laughs> How to remove Funko Pop heads. And... Um, He's, he's, uh, it's super cinematic, guys. Just, if you guys go check that out, that video is like, one of the most, it's on par with a J.J. Abrams film. Uh, he, I, I have to drown him. He should fit, he fits. So what I wanna do is put this body on this head, um, and then paint this, cause it kinda looks like me. He's getting a chop. I, I wish I could be as funny as, as he is. What's up, you guys? Today I have a meeting. I'm gonna go to that meeting today. Um, the meeting's in the kitchen, so I'll see you there. Hold on, let me just skateboard there. What's up, I'm here at the meeting. That being said, let's get on to the video. That's enough gushing. <laughs> let's just, let's just relax. Take it easy, all right? Just relax. Is that cinematic? Let's keep it super chill. Let's keep it super silly and not serious at all. He wears glasses. I wear glasses. We're gonna be making Funko Pop glasses. Um, I already started working on it just to see if I could make him. And um, I ordered my Funko Pops that I'm gonna rip apart and combine and paint and make into uh, me and then another one for Mikachi as well. Um, so let's let's just let's talk about the two Funko Pops that I'm breaking up to make into uh, my Kaivox Ender Funko Pop. And um, that is the Percival Graves from uh, Fantastic Beasts 1 and um, the new Dumbledore from uh, Fantastic Beasts 2. I just, I just love Dumbledore, as you guys all know. If you guys have watched any of my other Fantastic Beasts videos, Dumbledore is just... <laughs> This is a surprise. 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 And then uh, Percival Graves basically has my same hair, but um, it's not white, so I'll just have to. It's actually inverted. It has white on the sides and then black on the top. I want it backwards, so I'm gonna be painting him up. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. I don't know if this is gonna. I don't. I have no idea if this is gonna work out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually make something that looks good, but. I decided with this video, let's just jump into it and let's just, let's, <laughs> I'm gonna steal something from, from Billy again. Um, let's, let's mess this up so you don't have to. By the way, that's his catchphrase. He says that all the time. It's kind of true. Um, a lot of us DIYers kind of mess up so you guys could learn from our mistakes and uh, hopefully I don't mess up too much and I can teach you guys a couple of things on how to do this. Never painted a Funko Pop. Don't have a lot of Funko Pops. Probably have um, like 50 uh, Amiibos, but but like 10, 15 maybe Funko Pops. Which if you think about it, that's kind of a lot of Funko Pops. But let's uh, let's let's talk about let's talk about this baby. He wears glasses, um, pretty similar to mine, same general shape. Basically making three different glasses, but all using the same exact shapes. Full disclaimer. Um, it's, this isn't gonna be for everybody um, on how to make these because uh, we're using super advanced tools. This is more of a, um, we're trying to make it as pro as possible, right? For these glasses, it's not gonna be for, every, everybody can't make these, okay? I'm sorry, but everybody's not gonna be able to make these because you, you're gonna need some, some super heavy duty tools and or um, you're not gonna be able to make it. You're gonna need a laser. <laughs> Besides the laser, what we're gonna need is some paint and some acrylic, maybe some sandpaper. We'll throw some sandpaper in there too. Um, so go get that stuff and then come back. Go get your laser, go get your, your sandpaper, go get your, your paint and um, whatever else I just said, I forgot already. Once you have your tools, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pick the glasses that you wanna, you wanna make, right? I'm gonna use these because they're kind of a nice neutral shape 
kind of in between. I, I have a couple of different glasses. These are the two that I'm gonna make for myself. Um, and then we're gonna ma be making him just basically these, but with a full frame all the way around. You know, <laughs> super easy. Let's just, let's just keep it simple. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture that picture that, that I just took of these glasses, this one. I use Affinity Designer, which is basically a, um, it's a Illustrator clone kind of for, um, for Macs, which uh, I, I think it's super easy, it's simple to use, and uh, that's pretty much what I use for all of my artsy stuff. And whenever I'm trying to make something um, to, to print on the, on the uh, laser, so. I'm gonna just throw this on here. We're gonna trace it. We're gonna make um, three different, two different patterns and then just uh, print them on different things and, and, and go from there. You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night. Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd. It was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind. Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind. I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you. I don't know what I said, but the next thing I knew is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do. What should we do? What do we do? Okay, so this is the original plan, right? I was gonna make um, I was gonna make one set out of wood, which I can still do, and then the other one I was gonna use the clear acrylic, but I think I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna actually make two of these acrylic ones and just paint one of them um, darker and then leave the other one clear. So, back to the laser. So let's start off with um, the different ideas, right? So here we have three different styles that we cut out. Um, this is this one's made out of wood, and it's just uh, you know it's wood. It's very flexible, as you can see. Like it just bends super easy, which I'm kind of worried about. Um, but the problem with this one was making the these little guys, um, which are the pieces that attach to the side. The wood was just so flimsy that it was just burning up. It was just completely like catching fire and turning into like soot. I tried to sand it and it just, it didn't work. So what I decided to do is instead of making the darker ones out of wood, I'm gonna just make them out of the acrylic and then paint it. So what you can see is that uh, this one still has the, the paper on it, the protective paper, but once we take it off, it'll pretty much look like that. Um, this one was another idea for my glasses, which are these like like this this isn't actually carved out it's actually just engraved on there um which looks pretty good but i decided to do something different just to make it look more legit you know so what i ended up doing was uh we we got it we got to take this guy fully off here um instead of making this twice and showing you guys the two different ways i'll just show you this and then it's the same thing but you only change one thing to make it the way that I already did. So right here, you can see that these are, <laughs> these are the little guys I made for myself. So these are my, my glasses, as you can see. Um, they look pretty good. They have the little lenses in them, so they're actually reflective. But then all I did was, um, one, first of all, I glued, I glued these little pieces on. And then um, second off, I, uh, I just hit it with a little bit of a, of a matte clear coat. And that's how I got the, the finish on this. And then after I did that, I put in the, the lenses. So obviously you don't wanna put in the lenses until the very end. Um, you can also go without lenses. It'll still look good. It'll look like this basically, but it just won't have that reflective lens, which is what you want. Otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't look good, right? Yeah. You can go and hit this up with some sandpaper as well, just to kind of give it a, an, an, extra, um, an extra grit so that the paint sticks to it well. All you would have to do is that exact thing that I'm talking about. Um, we could sandpaper this a little bit and then hit it with the black. We went out of the club and we started walking the streets and then we stopped for a while and you said you wanna kiss me. me. Remember thinking is this really happening? Happening, happening. I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful. I couldn't quite believe it, it was magical. Just kiss 
Dancing on the street lights on our way back home, our way back home, our way back home. have it the uh, the black glasses now all you have to do is uh, go in and add a little bit of brown to make them kind of like the horn rimmed style glasses and uh, all I did was take some black uh, automotive spray paint can paint thing some light coats and uh, now we just got to wait like 48 hours before it dries and uh, everything's gonna be handy dandy just gotta hold it and it it works it's working came out pretty good the the color isn't exactly the same as my uh, my set but it looked weird making it like this which is basically what these look like um, it just it didn't look it looked too much like just a piece of glass in front of my face or in front of a, a Funko so here's what it looks like I don't have my Funko Pops in yet, so I'm gonna, I'm just testing it on trunks. You can see here, like it fits, but it just looks kind of like a shadow on, in front of them. So it just, it doesn't look great. So I decided, instead of doing it that way, we would do it this way. It doesn't fit on him because he has the glasses, or he has the hair, um, but let's just pretend it, let's put it on like this. So you can see that, come on. You can see that, you know, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look, uh, it's gonna look good. And then we got the black ones, which don't have the lenses in them yet, but man, they look nerdy as heck. I, those look great. Whew, I am, this is like a really awesome one day build, I guess you can call this. Um, here are those uh, wooden frames here. You can see how those look. He, look all, he looks all weird and stuff. Hold them right, there we go. Boom, look at trunks of glasses on. This is gonna be a series. I'm gonna finish it eventually. I should be getting the rest of the Funkos, uh, my Funkos, the ones that I'm gonna make into myself and Mikachi later this week. So I'm gonna continue to work on that. I also wanna thank our patrons for supporting the channel. If you guys wanna join and become patrons, you do get early access to videos and also you get to join the Discord where you guys talk to us and where we read all the things on there and we try to respond as often as possible. Um, I know Mikachi is constantly talking to people about book stuff on there like every night talking about book stuff so if you guys want to join for the book related stuff we do that on there and also we do the harry potter related stuff mostly i release early videos on there or i ask you guys questions like specifically to see what you guys want to see and if you guys want us to continue making videos like this make sure to go check that out and or just subscribe because that helps too thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye bye